Thomas Markle, S.R., has spent the last few years enjoying a quiet retirement in the beach town of Rosarito Beach, Mexico. But lately, he's spent an exorbitant amount of time in the public eye. He stirred up plenty of drama, and it all came to a head last month when he reached out to the media. Again. Sharing a personal letter written by his daughter, also known as the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, he continues to expose her most personal thoughts and feelings. Soon-to-be mom Meghan and Thomas have certainly had their ups and downs, as an unnamed source previously told People, but it's unclear whether they'll reconcile now. Here's everything you need to know about their bond over the years. Early childhood Thomas Markle met Meghan's mom Doria Ragland in the late 70s. My dad was a lighting director for a soap opera and my mom was a temp at the studio, Megan wrote in a 2015 essay for Elle about being biracial. I like to think he was drawn to her sweet eyes and her afro, plus their shared love of antiques. On August 4, 1981, they welcomed their only daughter into the world and moved into an affordable house in the San Fernando Valley in the Los Angeles area. One childhood memory Megan clearly recalls is obsessing over a set of Barbie dolls called the Hart Family. On Christmas morning, swathed in glitter flecked wrapping paper, there I found my Hart Family, a black mom doll, a white dad doll, and a child in each color, she wrote for Elle. My dad had taken the sets apart and customized my family. After the divorce Megan's parents separated when she was six, and while she lived with her mother, she spent lots of time with her dad as he worked as the lighting director and director of photography on a Fox sitcom. Every day after school for 10 years, I was on the set of Married. With children, which is a really funny and perverse place for a little girl in a Catholic school uniform to grow up, she told Esquire in 2013. There were a lot of times my dad would say, Meg, why don't you go and help with the craft services room over there? This is just a little off-color for your 11-year-old eyes. She also navigated her biracial identity with lots of advice from her dad. Megan recalled in her LSA how her 7th grade English teacher told her to check the box for Caucasian on a mandatory census. Confused, Megan ended up leaving the question blank. When I went home that night, I told my dad what had happened, she wrote. He said the words that have always stayed with me, if that happens again you draw your own box. High school and college years in 1990, Thomas Markle won the California State Lottery by playing five numbers, including Megan's birthday, according to royal biographer Andrew Morton. He invested some of the money, but also spent a fair share on his children. He has a son, Tom Markle Jr., and daughter, Samantha Grant, from a previous marriage. As for Megan, he helped pay for her tuition at the Catholic High School Immaculate Heart in Los Angeles. During her time there, Megan performed in multiple theatrical productions. Thomas helped with the sets and volunteered his time even after she graduated, a former classmate told People. Megan then went off to the prestigious Northwestern University, where she double majored in theater and international relations. Moving apart Megan continued to rely on her Emmy Award winning that as she focused on acting post-college, especially when it came to finding her light on set. My dad will be the first person to call me and say like, you need to have him bring another two Kelvins in, Megan joked in her Esquire interview. Once Megan landed her role on Suits though, she left Los Angeles behind for eight months of the year. Her dad also moved, but south to Rosarito Beach a relaxed expat city in Baja, California. He now lives in a gated community overlooking the Pacific Ocean alongside other American retirees, according to the San Diego Union-Tribune. While Megan's estranged half-siblings accuse her of abandoning the family, other sources claim otherwise. Thomas declared bankruptcy over $30,000 in 2016, but Megan reportedly offered plenty of help. She's been supportive of him in every way, including financially, an unnamed source told People. She has paid many of her father's bills over the years. The insider added that they still love each other, even though there's been a few struggles. Like any father-daughter relationship, there have been ups and downs over the years, but they are in a good place now.
scandal and heartbreak before the royal wedding Thomas official role in the Meghan and Harry's ceremony was to walk his daughter down the aisle, just like Michael Middleton did on Kate's wedding day. However, as we all know, that did not happen. After the 74-year-old started an international scandal by admitting to staging paparazzi shots ahead of his daughter's big day, Thomas told TMZ he suffered a heart attack and had to undergo surgery to repair the damage. And after much back and forth, Kensington Palace finally confirmed he would no longer escort her down the aisle as planned. Sadly, my father will not be attending our wedding, Meghan announced in a statement. I have always cared for my father and hope he can be given the space he needs to focus on his health. I would like to thank everyone who has offered generous messages of support. The unfortunate turn in his health further delayed his first face-to-face -face meeting the groom. Prince Harry reportedly asked Meghan's dad and her mom for permission to propose, but the two have only spoken on the phone so far. Meghan's mom Doria Ragland rode with her daughter in the car to St. George's Chapel, but it was Prince Charles who walked her down the aisle. Post-wedding drama and sues as if the hubbub from the staged photos and health scare wasn't enough, we haven't heard the last of Thomas. He made headlines yet again in February of 2019, when he shared a private, five-page letter Meghan sent him. The Duchess begged her dad to stop their public feud and called him out for his inappropriate behavior. She said he never reached out after the wedding and called his attacks on Prince Harry perhaps the most painful of all. As far as the public knows, the two have not spoken since. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.